are with Broken Worlds, Exalted, Gangs of New Gloam, episode 13. It is November 2018. I'm Devin the Referee, and to my left we have X Plane, Y Plane, Z. Nicole playing Boundless Jurisdiction, the Zenith class Solar, and my playbook is The Law. Ian playing Gilded Undertaker, The Liminal, and playbook The Refined. Kevin playing Joyous Child of Crystal Mirror, the serial Chosen of Serenity, playing the uh, Beggar playsheet. Peter asks the other way, the Infernal Fiend Master. Anthony playing Black Rain Falls Silent. Taycast Abyssal playing the Hunter. All right, gang, let's recap what happened last episode. Our house was broken into by a crusade of immaculate monks. And my husband. Yes. And your husband. And his circle. You all brought. had to scatter as a wild hunt was legit called down on your heads. Yep. Uh, this led to many twists and turns. It was an exciting episode. And that leads us to where we are now. Okay, so you guys have decided that it's time to fight the Warden. And take back your uh, your exemption, your, uh, your pardon. So... My question is, how do you plan to assault the Warden in his castle? Well, we know he sleeps, and we know he's a... Exalt. Liminal. He's a liminal? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. The secret of the Warden is that he is every previous Warden. <laughs> oh, I part like that. Part of the ship, that. part of the crew. Ooh, I like that. That's good. There we That's go. Good. So now you'll have to take its place. <laughs> so... Oh, yes! <laughs> How are you taking down the ward? And do we want to... I, I could pause while you plan that. Probably a good idea. All right. Okay, so we've decided to take down the ward. Now, Black Rain uh, has gone ahead and used her power die move to be where the warden is and then trap the prison. And you got a lot of successes on that. Mm -hmm. So the warden sleeps and is a liminal, as you all know from your investigations of his nature. So, he looks just like a man. Uh, an exalted man who's sleeping. And what do you do, Black Rain? Um, I spring out of the bed to launch up the window. Alright, so uh, a trap of sorts, a sort of mechanical combustion goes off and blows the bed through a you know, barred window into the <laughs> courtyard, I think you were saying? Yes, yes. a giant yeah. open courtyard, yes. <laughs> Alright, so middle of the day, middle of the night, or what's the... You choose. Night. I always choose night, obviously. All right. Are there people out in the courtyard? Did you gather an audience? Tell me. Of course. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. there's an audience there. It's a public thing. As many people as possible are out here, man. All right. So as you guys are in the crowd waiting for this to go down, the bed blows out of the tallest tower of the creepy magical prison, and, like, debris and it and, like, you know, rock face and uh, twisted metal... Falls down the side and then, like, almost almost soundlessly in isolation, clatters on the ground in a heap. You know, pieces of rock and stuff spiraling away, and everyone stops because everyone knows that was the warden's room. <laughs> <laughs> Who steps forward? I do. Uh, you're Bumble. all dressed up in your police outfit, you got your weapon ready. Bad, what do you say? Polished. First thing that came to mind is time to get an innocent man off, and I'm like, that's. <laughs> <laughs> say that! An innocent man deserves a beat. It name? comes from a good place. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Also, friends. I guess I'll say that. That's. It's ridiculous. fine. Just say it. It's fine. Translations. <laughs> yeah, it's a dub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, never. It's just a kung fu movie. Yeah. This is just the English dub. It doesn't have to make sense. You can go home. Time now. to get an innocent man off. <laughs> yeah. Is that what we're here for? The, uh, the bed creaks like it's all split in half and like damaged, and a man gets up. He stretches. He's in like he's in like a simple uniform, like just like pants, shirt, uh, you know, collar. It looks like a, an official's uniform, you know, almost like a mixed in with like almost like a robe, or like those delinquent outfits. <sighs> Innocent. What a peculiar concept. I can say in my entire tenure of this place, I'm not a single innocent has passed through those gates. <clears throat> That's... I don't think... 
he like shakes himself off. He's wounded and stuff. Like he clearly has some injuries. You can see like there are stitch marks that he's made visible across him. Like he's he's let his essence out, his invisible animal bonfire flare. If you think your violence has metal, crooked cop, demon soul anathema, by all means. Use your violence to strike down the lawful authority of this place. Bro, when they shoot him. <laughs> shoot him. Shoot him! Shoot him in the face. Yeah. Him. You're, gonna, you're gonna just shoot him? I can't think of a reply. Um... He's a pretty good reply. You're not innocent. He went through the gates too. <laughs> <laughs> he not, he's not denying he's innocent. Uh, <laughs> he, did, he did not. He did not say he was innocent. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Uh, I your, am your the answer, law. Your answer. Uh, if I were to propose an answer, I'll be the judge of what's lawful. <laughs> that's yeah, that's it. I am the giver of laws. <laughs> I will I, judge what I is am the law. I will make it lawful. Are you saying you're right? Next time you invite Pam. Yes. Lawgivers. Law and then giver. I will. You're gonna shoot him. Yes. All <laughs> right. Oh, Pam. Dun, dun, dun. I got an eight. Nice. It's kind of great. We're gonna find out that eight. Oh my god. Isn't so great. Please die. What's your damage? Please and what are your tags? All of them. Okay, this is uh, armor piercing. Messy. Uh, so it does. Plus one damage. Yeah, it does plus one damage and incidental damage to the area around it. It is destructive, so it destroys the terrain. Um. And I do not get to flourish, so yes, it does. Three damage. Okay. Alright, yeah, you shoot him uh, with your lawgiver's weapon as your animal bonfire burns. Yes. Um, it, was it really? Does no. it knock him back at all? No, it does not. Alright, he stands there and takes it directly to like uh, like one of his shoulders and his chest cavity. Like it blows it blows into him and knocks Although, him back. Sorry, just to clarify, he is reeling from what I did. Yeah, he was really. He that was all the, the way to the ground. That was the, yeah, he reeled <laughs> all the way to the ground. Really, reeled all the way to the ground. Really, all the way we set the, the scene. That's not. Yeah. yeah. I used that. Track. Anyway, the round hits him in the shoulder, and like he flinches back and like crumples inward a bit. Like there's wounds all over him. He's scarred. There's essence burns. The light of your, you know, anima banner mixed in with the fire dust round. Uh, and like the skin underneath writhes and pulses and gets larger and then settles back down. It's like small hands and muscles. Pull the wound back together and hold it closed. Oh, is that what your insides are like? Yeah, you see like black like <laughs> ichor that has like faces in it. Like the liquid itself has like faces moving around, thrumming like it's being hit by music or whatever. Pour out of it. Is he like? Mm. And uh, as you do that, he just put raises his hand to the sky and says, um, um, "Prisoner, you are out of." Order! And he points his hand from the sky to you as a uh, be- as a pillar of salt made of faces pours down like a drill and hits you. Me? Yeah. Uh, you're going to take two. Just two. I use armor. It's not bad. That's fine. Uh, the sky opens up into a myriad of holes and I start to poke out of the holes like those frog backs. Uh, and then there's like mouths showing up and like limbs and bony fingers and stuff hanging from the ceiling and bat wings of the sky. The sky opens up. I am warden of this prison and in every prison, he's gestured to all the prisoners here and all of you guys, I am the sun. I drink the sky and all of it will end when I die. You have chosen your tomb wisely, crooked cop. Hello, Witcher. <laughs> That's him. That was his speech. I am the moon and I drink the sky and all of it will go when I die. 
I guess. What, what does that mean? even mean? <laughs> what are you even saying? <laughs> so, that's pretty good. Oh, wait, really? <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> well, what are you all doing? You son of a bitch. Um, when all the world is crooked, it's the straight man who stands out. Oh, wait. <laughs> Shh, don't jump. Let it be a good one. Alright, what do you do? I'm going to. Can I tell what his uh, combat style is? He's not doing anything combat. He pointed to the sky and had got hit. He hasn't done anything combat style. He doesn't have any weapons on? No, he's just wearing a uniform. He looks like a government official. Okay. The deadliest thing in this prison. And yeah, I'm just going to shoot him again. <laughs> Reload? Yep. Uh, over 10. Oh my god. So, once again, it does 3 damage. 3 AP. Uh, yeah, 3 okay. armor piercing damage. Also, uh, it does do area damage. So. Yeah, yeah. there'll be area around him. Yeah, another round, same thing. Things writhing, healing back up. What? So, Sorry, four damage. Sure. Uh, yeah, you know, he takes it. Um, when he's being shot, though, like a bunch of people who are like gabbing around, like run in front of the shot and take part of the round. They're helping yeah. him. I guess. Um, what, where are you shaking your head? He just said if he dies, everyone here dies. Makes sense. Some people aren't going to think he's bluffing and take it at face value. He took I'll damage. Be Quick, be useful and freeze everybody. I would freeze everybody. Can't you just point it at the crowd? Yeah, no. but you can just have like it just work like that. Yeah, that's the just like that's the touch bit of a downside to it. Um, I no. want you to. Unless he, he, the warden wants to respond to you before you guys... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Don't you get it? You you deserve to be here. How many laws have you broken? You couldn't even stay in your cell and wait out your term before breaking the law. How can you trust your judgment with all this power you use to make your own rules? Even these prisoners are more ordered than you are. They'll throw their lives away to keep this order in place. Even these vermin have more stability. How can you say that badge is worth anything? He's still like pouring blood out of those two wounds you've given him. You're right about one thing. This badge has lost a lot of its value because of crooked people like you that are in charge. Can the one I am here to correct that. How could I be crooked if I am the law? <laughs> He's saying so that you can also set me up for it. I am the law. Right, whatever, whatever. Well then I'll go as other this, people. As he says I am the law. I'll say, if you are the law, then you have nothing to fear. And I'm going to try and cast a nightmare of innocent bystand, like innocent people he's killed, so that they start attacking him. Oh god. Uh, that'll be a nine, um, which means I can do it, but I can't use it again until I rest. Oh no. What does this do to him? So this is my nightmares on him. Okay, what does that do? Uh, he no longer can reduce damage via armor, group tags, or huge tags. No armor. No group, and no huge. Okay, that's rough. Yeah, damage can't be reduced in any way, and such you as- you got a nine? Yeah, I got a nine. Means I, can, I can't use yeah, this I until I- Yeah, I reaction. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like you hit him with visions of innocent people. It doesn't seem to- it doesn't seem to like like hurt him physically, like emotionally, but as you're doing that, you can see like hands and feet and faces start to pull out from under his uniform, pressing against the clothing, like pulling at him and like pulling him around a bit as he's trying to keep his stance. You can see something inside him and is not is resisting, is pushing against him. Interesting. <clears throat> you the fop. <laughs> Disgusting. All this power, and you choose to 
Bro, what a word. I <clears> choose like to side with innocent. Moving. Um, he just makes a sweeping motion with hand, and one of the buildings nearby grows large chicken legs and runs up to you and fucking face plants you onto you. <laughs> That's okay. Genius. That's fucking genius. Okay, then. Uh, so you're gonna take another two, and that's gonna be destructive area. Okay, so... As, like, a building walks up and just crashes itself onto you. Soak it with armor, but, yeah. <laughs> you have a building around. You have to get that's, out of the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll be... <laughs> <laughs> Opening the door. <laughs> yeah, just... Well, 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 I use some space, just make... <laughs> picture me just, like, staring at it as it comes down and being, like, about Shit. to pull out my paint to paint it and then just shake my head and put my paints back away. <laughs> Who's next? Um, Panda gets down on one knee, covers his good eye, and uh, activates his anima flare so that like ghostly sidereal fire like burns from his empty socket. Warden, I stand beside the life give lawgiver, just as all good people in this world should soon shall. Even if you were to survive this combat, soon all of creation would stand against you. And I'm going to um, bolster um, the lawgiver, lawgiver the yeah. solar. Do it! Okay, so that's 10 plus. So I am going to uh, hold these for now since I can just give them out as I yeah, want. Yeah, you have hold. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're giving an inspiring speech as a vizier. Yeah. Praying for their uh, safety in this. No, chaplain! No! Creation can stand against me all they want, against the institutions I represent, but they can never snuff out the heart of the greatest prison in reality. The hearts of man burn brighter than any prison. Cages are meant to put out that heart and put out that fire. No cage shall hold us. We shall see. Who else wants to go? I guess I can go. I can do my trying to do silver blades and get a sneak attack. Yeah, sure, he's not paying attention to you. He's like pinned into the area. Six. Five. Well, it's, it's at least more than seven, less than ten. Yeah, I think it's just eight. Yeah. Alright, which is, what your, what's your damage? Uh, three, and it's armor piercing, which doesn't matter. Brutal, crippled, reeling. Lordy. Plus plus two, because I'm going to use that acid. Yes, you are. So I'll sink my blade into him and just say, you are a truly pitiful creature preying on the weak. And I'll spit in his face. How much damage is that all together? Give me a full number. Three, five? Five? Okay. Yeah. And, and the plus two is, the last two is messy. Yeah, and then, yeah, there's a cripple in there somewhere. What, what are you crippling him with? What are you crippling Uh, I guess just an arm because he's a fist fighter. He's All right, the arm yeah, that you, brought like, you like stab into his arm and sever the tendons. Yeah. Uh, the tendons are like, have like small little hands and feet and faces, tie them together, and they just kind of separate and scream at you and pull away as you like cut that tendon and his arm falls to the guy's side. And you just spit ass in his face, and you can see like his cheeks and his teeth are writhing and making faces at you. Like when he opens up his mouth, he's like, ah! You see a face inside there just screaming with him. Don't think and about it. And really? Like, you're gonna, you're gonna knock <laughs> him back? So. Yeah, it's also into reeling. So I just, like, kick him into a wall. Yeah. Right, you kick him off your sword into a wall? Yeah, exactly. Alright, alright, and that was what, a 10? No, no, 8. It, I get a repercussion. Oh. It was an 8. He's gonna hit back. Oh boy. Yeah, as he slams into the wall, all injured, like still dripping out that essence, uh, a swarm of people mob you and jump onto you. There. <laughs> you have you have a group kind of holding on to you, pulling on you. You're gonna have to deal with that fiction wise when, it, when you want to act next. Fair enough. What are you doing? You're gonna get me killed. Our sentence was almost up. <laughs> <laughs> That's untrue. No one leaves this place. <laughs> the fools. They yeah. were lied to. All right, who, who wants to do something next? What, so. what are we doing, Nicole? Um, yes, Peter. Not. Yeah, uh, so I guess I bulk up as Master Roshi oh. again. Shut up my inner essence and, you know, call down lightning from, you know, the heavens above as some shadows start swarming and covering that hole up, uh, Ebon Dragon style, and, you know, shoot lightning on him, like, you know, What's the lot, the servant of the Ebon Dragon? Uh, 
that's... Your darkness cuts through his darkness. <laughs> that's ten plus, so two... Well, is he huge? No. no. This then, is a man. Then three damage, his way, plus area or... Now you destroy the building and stuff behind it. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well, f- f- what is the law to the city Evan Dragon? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, what, what's up? What do you want to do? Cool. do you want to take a Are people in... No he's, one is in He's in a big crater in a wall. Shoot her! Like, <laughs> she was next to him, but kicked him back, so... Yeah. Yeah. Do you say anything to Iowa? I, I can't think of anything to say. Alright. Put him down. Uh, seven. Oof. Alright, barely. It's good. So you guys are piling on him. Yep. The building that you crushed him into uh, gets up as like white, pale hands that have like too many joints and look kind of like soft and undercooked like dough push out of the windows and the ground and the doors. Uh, what? Yep. Yeah. Have four? Three? Three damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as the whole building that he lived in gets up behind him, there there was like a large sort of like sundial slash like mechanism built into it for like telling time and like alerting you to like signals. And that like opens up as like a kind of doughy pale face comes out. Uh, Is this the fucking barn from Adventure Time? I was, yeah, yeah, or Thomas the Tank Engine or Amygdala's from Bloodborne. You know, there's a lot of things this can be. <laughs> Dear God, Thomas the Tank Engine. The building <laughs> gets up on its many soft, uh, giant warrior from Nausicaa like limbs. As the prison itself walks over to where the warden is, like he's been blown back, uh, and is going to uh, drop itself on all of you guys. <laughs> but like I a picture me just like on getting Fuck. out of the building and then <laughs> seeing this other <laughs> building. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in over the building you're on, too. You're all in the same Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Um, is I picture me just like opening a door, stepping out, and then seeing this other building and just be like, oh, gosh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Today is not my day. Yeah, you're totally a Wiley cartoon. You're in a Wiley cartoon right now. Uh, can I use the mouth really steps with me, which is I can carry more, uh, many more times my body weight and stats required? That's so also. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, is that a roll or something? No. No, there's a save. Um um uh, I took the stats earlier. You did. I cannot move, so I get huge unstoppable focus tags. And yeah, the next part of this. And he's you can say Mike. Hmm? Let's say Mike. Mike. Unstoppable force versus a movable object. Yeah. So, nice. I think mm-hmm. so body? Is that yeah. Sure. So that's a nine. Okay, uh, the whole building's coming down, you guys, and about to, like, you know, start to crush you and do damage and put you inside a, a new area, but uh, Master Roshi here <laughs> is, uh, just kind of, like, puts his hands parallel to himself and, like, takes on a stack uh, stance and lifts with his legs <laughs> and just holds it, allowing you guys to reposition yourselves in holes in the superstructure. Yeah. So when the floor that he's holding up, you know, stays up, but the building goes down around him, <laughs> you know, physics, yeah. you, know, you guys won't get crushed, but you're now inside the main building. It bought us, like, a literally, like, two <laughs> seconds. So most people are crushed around you, though. Oh, wait, am I dead, though? No, 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 you got, you're able to kind of move your way, and then... <laughs> Luckily, I'm the exalted, and they're not. Yeah. <laughs> you are inside the warden's building. Well, that's one uh, way to... There are, there are, like, vines made of that white meat everywhere going outside as the limbs are trying to crawl back inside their own holes to get to you. And this place is, like, covered in, like, webbing, basically. I like how you got meat webbing here anyways. Mm-hmm. Kicked him out specifically so he wouldn't be on his turf. <laughs> but it's like, fuck, we're back in his house. Now you have to find the warden. The house is damaged, though. It's the foundation's torn up. There are limbs everywhere. There's, like, parts of the wall where they're, like, old prisoners are coming out in that white, milky meat. They're like trying to pull at you and drag you out the wall. Gross. Well, time to do some area damage to break this building down. Yeah, I'm garbage <laughs> at area damage. So. Can I just trigger all my the rest of the remaining traps? Just collapse the building. <laughs> Not collapse it. Do some serious damage to people around it. The building uh, spirits, the souls of the people that were put into the foundation of every brick and mortar of the walls of this place, are all chanting, "The warden is God. The warden is God." Oh no. <laughs> Another brick in the wall. Uh, I'm going to just go in a straight line to where I last saw the warden. All right, uh, chariot, chariot of murder, Kool Aid Man. Kool Aid power. The chariot of the move Tom Kool-Aid. wanted you to take. Ten plus. What does that mean? You just you just go in a. Sh- means, uh, 
All right, so you just start running through like meat, you know, meat arm <laughs> wall with people in it, <laughs> U-shaped hole. Yeah, you know, me the rhino, and my group gets to go. The rhino from Spider-Man style. <laughs> You know, uh, bathhouse, factory floor, <laughs> uh, barracks, kitchen, laundry room, torture room, medical room. <laughs> I'm the Joker. Until eventually you get to the judging room. <laughs> the warden sits there, wounded at the top of where the judge sits for pardons and like sentencing and stuff. Uh, this courthouse is full of those bodies growing out of the ground like buds. <laughs> Uh, and like guardians covered in armor and plated in ceramic have poured out of the walls. You can see that that like parts of his arms and legs that you've damaged are starting to swell with that same type of material and like stick to his chair. Much like I want to say Tetsuo from Akira. He's going like you know Super Monster. I don't know if it was Tetsuo or Ken. I don't remember anymore. It's been too long and I don't care. But yeah, that whole Akira scene with him with the meat arm. Gross. Because the warden is, you know... Uh, an prison. abomination, yes. The prison. <laughs> His exaltation has been refined by Malthus. What do you do? Tell me, scion of the dragon that was. What is a shadow to the king of all titans? And like under his chest cavity, as there are faces and bodies and like man and woman shapes pouring out of the meat, we see a green beating uh, star. Figure that there's some connection. And he's, he's the champion of this Malthus area. He's a liminal. Yeah, yeah. Lidger made him a heart that he could take. <laughs> what? Yeah. what do you do? What do you guys do? Come on. I am going to jump up there and jump with my foot on his throat. Heaven through violence? Yeah. Alright, you're gonna jump and do that. What do you guys do? Well, Nicole's doing that. Well, I guess I'm gonna say that, you know, what's the lie to, you know, the shadow that eclipses it and shoot my black lightning at his, you know, green heart. Alright. Reach heaven through violence! What are y'all doing? Oh, I'm reaching heaven through violence. Yeah, reach heaven through violence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're all here. This is it. You fool, I've already seen your death. Yep. Just throwing a hairpin. The world moves on without you. <laughs> very good. These are all very nice. Oh, I guess that's true. This house is a testament to your degeneracy and your un the fact that you are unfit to rule anything. You are a king of nothing. And, uh,. Which happened through violence as well. I'm going to attack the crowd. Sure. Nothing is generous for the scum under my roof. As did you, what did you get? Ten plus. What'd you get? Ten plus. What'd you get? Ten plus. What'd you get? Nine. What'd you get? Seven. It's fair. <laughs> he, he screams out as you were kicking him in the throat. I thought, or were you shooting? I was jumping and landing with my foot on his throat. Now, as you kick him back, and you guys all gather around, just keep stabbing and hacking and throwing essence at him and the people around him. Yep. Yep. Are these living people, or are they like, uh... They're like spirit, twisted, you know, living spirit people of the prison. You oh. can kill them, it's okay. People who die in the prison become part of the prison. <laughs> okay, freeing them. Got it. Go. Also exactly. really yep. also disarmed? He kind of bursts apart like a pumpkin. Yeah. Like, you know how pumpkin insides have, like, the seeds and, like, the, the goo everywhere? He kind of, like, bursts apart and smears across the floor. <laughs> kind of like an annihilation with uh, the man against the pool wall. No, gross. Okay, um... Is he dead? No, he's, he's still dead. moving. No, we're gonna get this smoke. It's a liminal, yeah. yeah. Quick, start seeing you know, One is his heart. Parts and... Yeah, with their... Like Okay. I'm still narrating. Yeah. I'm saying what you guys, you guys all teamed up on him with a bunch of mad damage to roll. Yeah, <laughs> yep. yeah, we did no. Know. No, I will not go quietly. You will never be pardoned. Your crimes, your sins run too deep. Your soul crawls with them. You deserve <laughs> to be here. You are like me. Yeah. Oh. As he like melts into the wall, like he, like his whole body starts to fall apart and melt into, like, meat moss into the foundations of the building. Oh. That's unfortunate for him. You deserve to be here. 
and like the whole foundations of everything start shaking. Since I think at this part, it's a good place to end as we move from the beginning phase of the boss battle to, to, the, to the real phase. So I was Devin, Nicole, Ian, Kevin, Peter, Anthony. And this is sponsored by Nobody. Signing off.